Good morning guys. I know that I didn't vlog this weekend. The first weekly vlog is weird because it starts on the weekend and then ends on a Friday. Um, but there was nothing to vlog on the weekend because it was just the weekend was crazy and I couldn't really vlog. I had, I went to a party and then I had a party and then on Sunday I basically slept in because I stayed up so late for both parties. That was my weekend so there wasn't really anything to vlog and when I hosted the party you know I didn't really want to have the camera out and um, I think I'm gonna insert some snapchats if I could it's not too crazy But yeah, um, it is a Monday and I have a huge presentation today and um, I'm just getting ready. I got up early just so I can sort everything out and I'm actually on my way to school an hour early so I can print out the reports that we have to turn in. So I'll see you guys later. So I'm just home for lunch and um, I have about an hour and a half of break. But oh my goodness, that awkward moment when you were just talking about your landlady coming by with the place looking a mess and you're just joking about it and then you get inside the door and she's right there. Like it was so, oh my gosh. But basically at the party, like I said, it was pretty crazy and we have like shattered bottles right outside. Um, I kind of don't want to show you. But yeah, and we're, we were putting it off because we're all busy, so we haven't been able to clean it yet. And of all days, the landlady comes today and she barely like visits. So it's so funny how that happened, but there's six of us here and no one really took responsibility, but I just kept saying like, I'm sorry in French. We'll clean it up, but she was pretty nice about it. And oh, my pimple, I tried concealing it, but that's all I can do. You know what, I'll just show you guys. Okay, my my flatmates are outside and I don't wanna get them on camera in case they don't want to be. But you see that? All the shattered glass. And then there's some more like near my window. Get the girls, Ed. No. <laughs> Ed likes guys. No, I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna kill me with what? You're disgusting. <laughs> but I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> this chick <is> crazy. <laughs> so I'm just making bread, some eggs, a little bit of leftover pasta, and I'm also watching the Sacconi Jolies, which I tend to do when I'm eating or it's Judy's life. Walking back to the second session of school, which is the same class, but it's another four hours to go. We just get like an hour and a half, or no, an hour and 15 minutes break, but it's so sunny. It's like so sunny, but it's freezing cold. I think I've mentioned that before, but it's the same. The cars here are so fast. The sidewalks are so tiny too. Near my place, it's actually a whole lot tinier. She wanted to look at Sephora, then we ended up at Yves Rocher, is that how you say it? Yeah, and um, I ended up buying hand cream. I need it, but I didn't need it like at that place. I could have probably gotten it for a euro at the supermarket. Oh my gosh! Oh no, I thought it was. I thought it was pumpkin. Oh, it is. <gasps> oh, I really love Halloween. Where are we going? I following you. Go.
I made another stop at the supermarket. I really need to go to the bigger supermarket so I don't have to keep going again and again. And I know I will tend to spend more and get stuff that I don't need if I keep going every week. So this is the last time. Listen to me, this is the last time I'm going to be going to this supermarket. I'm gonna go to the bigger one that's a little cheaper probably this weekend. Too many things going on this week, but I just got my favorite crustless bread and I hate that they don't have these in America, at least in the supermarkets that we have where I'm from, but oh my goodness, crustless already for you. So I got that and then the eggs that I normally get weren't available. Don't know why, but these were a little bit more expensive, but had to get them because I have no eggs at all. Um, pesto, of course, easiest thing to cook when you're lazy, but I'm trying a different one. This is the pesto rosso, so it's like a tomato-based pesto rather than just the usual basil. These, oh my gosh, okay. I obviously didn't need these, but one of my schoolmates today had some and she made me try them, and I just, I was like, I love them and I'm gonna get them. So I got that as a treat after my presentation today. And then I have, of course, just some jam. Of course, a baguette that I ended up eating on the way, as I always do. And then just water, and then this Nivea, ha no, I was about to say hand cream, um, lotion, because I just need some lotion. I also got this hand cream from Yves Rocher. Um, I think you saw that um, Shauna, my friend Shauna and I, just went there to look for her makeup and I ended up buying something. This is only a Euro 95, so I was like, it's big and it's Yves Rocher, which is a popular brand in France. So I went ahead and got it. And my hands have been super dry and like flaky. I don't think you could see them obviously, but I can see them. Like I can see the flakes and the white stuff. So gotta fix the mounds. I think that's how you say it, mans or mains. You don't say mains. I think it's mans, which means hand. And of course, I burnt myself. Now I'm just gonna cook. These are so cute. They're the, what are these called again? The green trolls, um, Smurfs. Smurfs, yeah. Let me show you. Which one looks more like a smile? Well, let me just show you a couple. Can you see that? They're like Smurfs. Oh, and they match my nails. <laughs> my nail polish, but yeah. They're pretty hard, but these are good. And I feel like these are meant to be a little healthier than gummy bears. I think Haribo, Haribo, Haribo. It's a German company we have these in the states but like our main one is like gummy bears but here their main gummies are haribo and my friend who's german told me that they're german but yeah this is like my appetizer as my pasta's cooking i'm watching as told by ginger which i found out they actually have on youtube So that's so exciting. Reminds me of when I was younger. But yeah, I'm, I'm chilling right now because I just had a presentation today. So I was really busy yesterday and that's all I did. And I slept late and then I woke up early. So I'm actually really tired. I was gonna have coffee, but my plans tonight are, even though I have a lot of things to do, I'm just gonna eat, take a shower and then head to bed early because another long week we have class every single day for eight hours straight so and meetings again today i didn't have a meeting that's why i was able to hang out with my friend shauna but we're gonna try to sleep early tonight i doubt it though <laughs> so this is dinner and since i've always gone for like the green original pesto i'm trying this one out which is basically pesto, but it has 
tomatoes so instead of green it's red and it's actually pretty good it's quite similar to like regular pesto but it has that kind of tomatoey pasta sauce taste to it so if I like this it would be a nice like kind of variety rather than always going for the green one which I have been for like the past two months that I've been here but yeah this is pretty good I know the vlog started weird with me saying I didn't get to vlog the weekend but that's actually because I vlogged the entire week last week but today I started editing it and realized that I filmed so much that it's going to be almost a 45 to an hour long video and I doubt that you guys want to see that. So I'm contemplating if I just, just completely forget about that week and restart and just do this week and try not to film too much or post parts of it as separate vlogs, like separate shorter vlogs and just name them like Franz vlog one, two, three, or do daily vlogs like what I did this time. But the thing is, I'm not gonna be like a consistent daily vlogger because obviously there are days where I'm just gonna be super bu like busy and not really have anything interesting to show because a lot of the time, especially in October, I don't know why, I think I mentioned this in another video, October is my busiest month because a lot of my classes are happening this month and so, Every day I have an eight hour class and then right after that I have a meeting with groups that I'm working with with classes because the main part of assessment here is group work on top of our examination for the final day. So my days are like wake up, run to class so I'm not late and then eight hour class with like an hour break and sometimes I don't even take that break. I like work with a group or talk to a professor and then I have group work right after and I don't get home until late at night. And I'm just gonna be saying good night to you guys every single day, good morning and good night, every daily vlog. So I feel like maybe once a week where I know I have an interesting day or I have less school time or group time, then I might do a daily vlog and then post it, but I'm gonna try to do it like once a week. So it's either weekly vlog that aren't too long or daily vlogs once a week, or also on top of that, do the last week's vlog, but in like smaller like versions. So we'll see, we'll see. But let me know what you guys think and what you want to see.